Carlos going to show you the bonus he got with his pizza. Some hair. Wait, no pizza. grocery shopping and we ran into this uh, little celebration or parade on Plaza de Armas and I looked it up on the phone and it said that today Friday August 30th is the Feast of Saint Rose of Lima and I'm assuming that's what this is La Fiesta de Santa Rosa de Lima Good afternoon from Arequipa, Peru. We heard about a place called the, what's it called again? The Yanaguara, which is slightly outside the center of Arequipa, but it's supposed to be one of the best neighborhoods to check out while you're in town. We read a little bit on Wikipedia about it, and apparently it's a great place to go to check out the view of Arequipa against the backdrop of the volcanoes, and also a really cool place to see a sunset, and who doesn't love a good sunset? Absolutely, and that's about 30 minute walk from central Arequipa. Sunset is at 5, 35, 40, which it is in this part of the world. It's only about probably quarter after one o'clock now, but we thought we'd just go over there and spend the afternoon. The weather is nice, but you know, the sun oh, is stinging in my skin. Just so. because there's not as much ozone layer here. So, so, so. let's get out of here and over to Yanawara. Yanawara in the shade before we get sunburned. I've actually caked myself in SPF 50, so I'm good. Getting to the shade. this way. This is the Ponte Grow. I think it's called the Ponte Grow, but we are actually on the bridge overlooking a river and the river looks sort of cold water and I wish I could just swimming because it just would feel so refreshing. And quite honestly we're at the end of the winter here now and every bridge that we've gone over has a river bed but no water so this is probably the first water we've seen which is not surprising since these mountains are up in the back and all that snow is coming down or all that uh, water is melting and coming down. Sort of looks like the Peruvian version of like Yosemite Sam or something. But he's a hero. His name is Colonel Don Francisco Bolognesi Cervantes. I don't know who he is, but he has a nice gun. And he's yellow. I assume he's like kind of gold, but he's kind of yellow. So according to the navigator, who's now going over to look at this thing, whatever that is, we've only got about three blocks to get to where we're going. It didn't take us 30 minutes like he said it would, maybe 20. And then we'll go look for something to eat while we're waiting for the sunset. Let's go climb up there, Michael. Would you do it? Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful view. I think we've stumbled upon an ancient pyramid. Maybe something Incan. Maybe something someone just poured cement recently. It's probably more likely. We noticed that throughout the, I guess the country, you can see all the wire fence on top of people's fences. And it's plenty of warnings saying that do not touch it because it's electrified. I don't know whether it's true or not. Maybe we should touch one of them. You know what kind of bothers me? We've been in Arequipa now for almost two days. And I'm still getting winded from the little walks. After Arequipa, we are going to Puno. Right now we're at a little over 7,000 feet. Puno, I think, is about 14,000 feet. Then we're going down to Cusco, which is about 11,000 feet. Then we're going down to Machu Picchu, which is a little under that. And it's still way more than this here. So I'm really hoping I get used to this over the next couple of days, because if not, it's really going to ruin the trip for me. And Rainbow Mountain is even higher. It's about 14,000 feet. And Michael didn't mention it yet. It's going to be the highest point of our trip this time. Can't wait. Seems like Peruvians really enjoy to paint their walls. Everywhere we go, it's either just like half built, still in construction, but they always paint it with a lot of advertisement, a lot of words, a lot of names. That's a pastime of Peruvian, I think. And on this case, for example, there's an advertisement for Claro, which is the phone network here in Peru. It's vividly red wall, which is kind of cool. This is not a sponsored post, but Claro is really, really good. I sort of feel like he doesn't know where we're going. He just seemed to be walking along these random streets. This one, by the way, is called Jerusalem. You know where we're going? Yes. Do you promise? Yes. This is the Jerusalem road, and it just kind of starts curving down to the plaza that we're supposed to end up in. Yanawara Plaza. Okay. We made it. This is the plaza. How exciting is this? Look at all this. So many people out here to celebrate the sunset. 
Actually, we just saw a bunch of tour buses, so we know there's going to be a lot of people here eventually. Oh, a rooster. It's not a rooster. It's just a regular chicken. I'm not sure why her legs will be tied. Well, it's pretty busy, probably to keep her from crossing the road. Nice jugs there, Keepa. Nice jugs. I want to get in. I don't think you should. I guess not. I don't want to get in trouble. So it seems like we actually found a mirador, which is way behind me here. It's just basically a little cliff, seems like, and you can see the Arequipa from above. But this is such a nice day out. People just hanging out and eating ice cream, getting the dogs out, just, you know, sit down at Bench Park. It's a really beautiful day. Definitely not going to complain about the view here. The volcano in the background, the rest of the city, and a little market down here. at a place called Pizza Breanas. Breanas. Halif and I were getting a bit hungry and I wanted to have a, a beer and pizza. So we did that. Great Peruvian food, of course. Cheers. To Peru. Nothing like a lukewarm beer in the afternoon. Peruvian game show in the background. I think it's one of her favorite shows because she won't turn it down. And she said something about it, almost like she has to watch it. Gracias. Oh, perfect. So, I'm just happy that the olives don't have pits in them. That's a very pizza we've had. Pits. Paulo's going to show you the bonus he got with his pizza. Some hair. Wait, no pizza. You see it? Oh, yeah, we can see it. <laughs> well. Here. Yep. So now that we're here, we've discovered that you know the sun is setting in the west, but the volcano is kind of north northeast. So we figure out that most likely what's going to happen is that the sun is going to be low enough to just get a different color yeah. on the volcano and the city. So that's what we're gunning for. Yeah. So we were we kind of thought when we read about this place that it was a great place to see the sunset, but I think it's more about the sunset's effects on everything else. And for the best angle. Ask this guy over here. He's the professional photographer for Tiana Huara. He's everywhere. Ah, si, si. Señora, gracias. So for a treat today, I decided to try something that's called the queso helado, I think it's called. Queso helado, basically in the ice cream cheese. Our guide actually yesterday told us that this is one of the cuisine, I guess, uh, of Arequipa, or maybe just the whole Peru but I've never heard of such thing before. This is only three soles, which is a dollar, and I've seen everybody's here thrashing themselves with eating this, so I'm just gonna give it a try. Very interesting. It's not very super sweet, and they actually put some kind of, um, I think it's like a, it's like turmeric it's or something. Like nutmeg. She added a few things of nutmeg uh, on top of the ice, but it just kind of gives that little kick at the end. But it's not super sweet, and slightly salty, but it's actually pretty good. I don't like it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> It 
it's worth watching the sunset for sure. Yeah, uh, the unfortunate part is that as soon as the sun goes down here, it gets pretty cold. It got really cold here really quick. So we need to get back to the hostel so I can get warmed up. I have mine, so I'm It's a 20-minute walk, so we'll be fine. It's not bad. Yeah, let's go. I got my churros for two soles and they got some chocolate in it. And that kind of does it for our day here. We've had a really good time. I'm a little bit cold now because as soon as that sun goes down, it gets a bit chilly here. Start hitting you really bad. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you uh, want to get notifications every time we post a new video, click that bell in the corner. And we'd love it if you subscribe because we are starting a around the world trip right now and you don't want to miss it because we're going to be going to lots of cool places. We're going to a canyon tomorrow. So this is the start of at least two or three years for us. And we'd love to have as many subscribers as possible. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for watching. Looks like a little telephone, sorta. Of, so try to see whether I, I could hear anything. By Claro, Claro for all your telecommunications needs. And that's a car coming. <laughs> oh, it's Tupac Road. Okay, it's not a rooster; it's just a chicken. But a rooster is a chicken. It's a big party here. <laughs>